right, welcome back to Cricket for Americans. Nick here. Gabe, the Night Watchman. And Gabe and I are back together for another episode of Cricket, Cricket Tuesday. Tuesday. Oh. And yes, Gabe's excited about that. And we are excited to check out this video that Gabe thought we already reacted to. And I'm like, oh no, maybe we have. I don't think we have. If we have, we apologize. Apparently, the video you reacted to last week that I gave to you, we reacted to, which I haven't still found that yet. But, you know, that's just how we do it on Cricket for Americans. What are we looking at today, Gabriel? We're going to be checking out the highest catch ever, right? Goodness, Book, uh, book of Reverend. Maybe I just heard of it some t- or something to this effect. But for sure, uh, I remember about hearing something to this effect where they drop it like from a drone or something crazy like that. Now, um, Nick and I have actually been working on our catching skills in baseball, in baseball. But, uh, you know, there's some yeah. school. We also were just throwing the baseball around and saying, hey, could we catch it with, you know, just the bare hands? And, uh, you know, we did catch it with the bare hands a few times. Now, obviously, it's not coming off of a bat or whatnot. <laughs> no. You know what no, I mean? No, and, uh, you know, again, I guess that's what drives catches and cricket drive me crazy because – it's not the tough ones, like the tough ones, the bare handers, the diving catches. It's the sitters that drive me crazy. But then again, we actually heard from a professional critic, cricketer, right? The law firm. Don't, no, don't call him that. Oh, gosh. What? He loves the name. He hates that name. Keep uh, going. He hates that name. All right. Well, Mr. Walsh says, you know what I mean? Like, dude. You know what I mean? Like it's 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 the longer you got to think about the catch, it's like the worst. You're thinking to yourself, "Oh, I don't want to drop it. I don't want to drop it." You know what I mean? And like, I guess that makes sense. You know what I mean? Because again, us catching it in the field with a couple students is one thing. And you know, I played in high school games or whatever. But when you've got eighty thousand cricket fans, you know what I mean, in the stands, it's just a little bit. And different. you have you have that time to think about it, right? You that's that's the problem. I think that's what Hayden was saying. Is like, he's like, when that goes up in the air, <laughs> and you're like, oh man, don't drop it, right? You get to watch I mean, it's, oh yeah, you can like you get a little <laughs> sip of your tea first, crying out before you have to catch it, and then it comes down, and you're just like, oh no. But it's crazy because you're right. They make the crazy, amazing catches, the, the dive one hand or whatever it is. So we're going to see. This is uh, this is quite appropriate because from what I do know about this video, like Gabe says, dropped from a drone. It's a Guinness Book of World Record, the, the highest ball that was dropped for a catch. And this is NASA, right, from England, which makes sense because his name sounds like American Space Program NASA. So it's all quite appropriate. We're going to go ahead and check this out. If you're excited for our reaction, don't forget to like and subscribe and be nice to Gabe in the comment section, please, for once in your life. We would appreciate that. <laughs> Are you ready for this? Absolutely. All right. So let's check out this video we may or may not have watched. Who knows? In three, two, one. Big time, and he's got the wicket keeping gloves on. Oh, Flying spider. Exciting times. We're here at Lords, the home of cricket, and we're going to attempt to set an official Guinness Lords. World Records title. What we're going to do is drop a cricket ball from one of our back cams. There's one up there filming us at the moment. It's going to go to 100 feet, drop a cricket ball, and then former England captain Nasser Hussain, widely regarded yes. as the best fielder of his generation, will attempt to catch it. Why have you put yourself forward? <laughs> because I just woke up yesterday you morning. You want to be a world I, I was at the Oval holiday. and I thought, do you know what I haven't done? I've never been in the Guinness Book of Records and I'm going to catch yes. a ball from 100 feet. I've never caught a, pe- a cricket ball in a pair of gloves before. I went to the bottom oh, of my cupboard and this is what I came out with. I love it. The from mismatch. Jacob, my boy. And the other one, I don't know who. Maybe Josh Butler or someone. Previously catching on this ground, I dropped a gentleman called Graham Smith on two or something. Oh, oh, that would be me. Oh, my goodness. Oh, that would be me. 252. He what? The last time I did a slip catching demo at St. Bridge, you and the whole country <laughs> laughed at me because I dropped an absolute oh. dolly. The minces have gone, the sun's in my eyes, the wind. <laughs> dropped him at I two got no and he got chance. 252. Wow. So 100 oh, feet is the, the highest. 
You would think like when they hit it, they would hit it at least a hundred feet. Three, two, one, drop. Yes, oh, there you go. Cool. Yes. We have to go higher than that. Can we have it higher? That was a bit too easy. That was too easy. Yeah, no, there was no wind. Yeah. No movement, nothing. So artists, go I like that, sportsmanship. Higher. What are we at now then? So we're at 46 meters. 46 meters, 150 feet. Here he goes. Okay, so I was like 100 feet can't be the highest, but he's getting warmed up. Yeah, he's getting warmed up. Oh. Yes! <laughs> he's done a that finger hurt. as well. <laughs> 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 That's smart. Yeah. So how high do these things go? Oh, here we go. Right, we're going 400, the maximum. Wow. What's that? How far is that? 400 feet. Half. Half? <laughs> Where are we now? Okay, I would have to say 100 feet What's is nothing. That? It's yeah. still got a bit to go. Just just be patient. Oh my gosh. Okay, three. Wow. Oh, look. Two. As it flies down, one. the air pressure, the air resistance going to there move it so much. Oh God. Yeah. Oh God. Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no. yeah. That's the wind. It took it miles. We should have thought about that. Oh. I didn't bottle it, honestly. Thank you very much. Thank well you. done. Well, well done. done. So NASA, you attempted the official Guinness World Records title for the highest catch of a cricket ball. Now you had three attempts for this. I can confirm that the last attempt was not valid as you did not catch the cricket ball. <laughs> well spotted Adam, thank you. <laughs> well, but fortunately, your second attempt, you reached an altitude of 150 feet, which makes it a new official Guinness World Records title. So NASA, you're saying on behalf of Sky Sports was... Cricket. Yeah, thank you very much. Well done. That's the lovely, highest huh? ever? Really? That's pretty cool. Okay, now let me know, Gabe, how do you feel about this? But I've always thought it was, it's every boy's dream, right? Probably every girl's dream too, to be in the Guinness Book of World Records. Now that official book is probably billions of pages, but have you always thought that that would be an awesome achievement or you're just like, I can care less about that. Absolutely, that would be an awesome achievement, okay. bro. I've tried to look for it, look in the Guinness Book of Record. Like, uh, <laughs> like, 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 no joke. Somebody said, "Hey, Gabe, that stream you did with the with with, with the IPL uh, auction, auction. Yeah. it wasn't it wasn't a Guinness Book of Record, bro." There's been streamers that've literally done like sixty something hours straight. How do you do 60-something hours straight, like passing out in a chair, cousin? You know what I mean? So I'm not even close to that. But, like, for sure, dude, I'd love to be in the Goodness Book of Record. You know, it wasn't this, by the way. It was a football that was dropped by, from, like, a drone, and somebody ended up okay. catching it to break a record or something to that effect. Spoiler alert. But uh, I forgot who was it that did it. But that was pretty cool. I would think that it would be deeper than that, man, because you see these guys hit these bombs all the time. But... When you think about it, it's a lot of the times it's how far they hit it, not how high up in the air you they hit it, if that makes sense. You know what I mean, Nick? Like, oh, they hit it 70-something meters, you know what I mean? The universe ball, 76 meters, you know what I'm saying? But that's how far they hit it, not necessarily how high up in the air they hit it. Now, you do see people crush baseballs but uh, 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 in the air. I, I remember Bryce Harper as a kid, which is what, catapulted him into fame into fame hit a ball you know in tampa that literally was like projected 600 feet something insane like that bro it like went so far like it had to hit wall in order to stop out here in vegas he hit a ball out of the stadium onto the expressway that's how far he hit it when he was a kid you know what i mean 16 17 years old but Jeez. When we think about distance, you know, four or five hundred feet, it's how far, not up in the air. So that's a good question. How far do baseball players actually hit the ball up in the air? I would say it's got to be at least 100, 150 feet, 200 feet, something to that effect. But far, like in lengthwise, no, I don't think it, it, 400 feet is actually, if you think about it, that's, bro, that's Yankee Stadium porch. That's all. That's deep, cousin. That is that's deep. tall. Yeah. From home plate to, to the wall. I just... Like 100 feet, obviously, is a tall height to like jump into a, a river off of, right? right? Or to climb up. I mean, it's it's very very tall, obviously. But I just would have thought, like, when you see like these these cricket batters and they hit it and it just kind of skies one for that sitter, right. I would have thought it had to have gone higher than 100 feet. But who's to say? He got it 150 feet, 
and they said that's the world record. So if that's what Guinness says, I mean, they know what they're talking about, right? Um, I was looking it up right now. How high um, can a cricket ball be hit? And it says the ball hit the roof of the stand about 105 meters horizontal distance from the bat and could have another, carried another 20 meters. But it doesn't say that that was uh, vertical. That says horizontal. So I guess we'll never really know how high it can go up. But all we know is NASA did it, right? This guy got the catch. Now, if he would have caught the one from 400 feet, then that would have beat his old record by more than twice. That would have been pretty impressive. I wonder if he's a kind of competitor where he's like thinking about that over and over. I know he had mentioned previously he had dropped some uh, – he had some very – expensive drops and some embarrassing drops so here he's able to get that twice make himself feel good about it but man alive are I'm there any to... other cricketers who are like i want to try that i can do 160 feet like i know i would be that guy give me 151 feet please come on nick what are those uh and i'm just thinking about right now i was trying to do research right there right there uh in tampa bay there's a dead ball rule tampa bay uh uh wow i was gonna say buccaneers the tampa bay Rays. The baseball team, the baseball team, Tampa Bay, Rays. Rays. the Rays, the Rays, right? And they're one of the only stadium, uh, only teams that play in the dome. So there's dead balls, and one of the rules is if it hits the roof or it hits those, uh, what are they called? Wow, yeah, it happens, rafters or whatever. Yeah, 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 yeah. When it hits it up there, it's a dead ball. Now you would think with all the home runs that are hit that it happens often, but literally you only get to see that once or twice a, a year. So now that I'm thinking about it. Balls probably aren't hit that high. They're hit far, but you know what I mean? They're, right. they're, but but not high because you don't really see that that often. And when you see it in the game, you're like, what just happened? Like, oh, the ball just got skied up there and it hit one of the catwalks, I think they call it. So uh, catwalk, what, are the, yeah. what are the catwalks? Again, I'm going to try to look it up real quick just to see what the catwalks Nick. are. So we, I, I, again, and I guess that's why numbers, when you actually see it in in, in – when you hear a number, but you actually see what the distance is or see what the actual rela- yeah, reality is, it can be very deceiving. So above home plate, it's 121 feet. However, above center, it's only 59 feet, 60 feet, bro. So that's inc- that's crazy to think that the catwalk It slopes down? That's what it says here. The catwalks uh, add extra dimensions for what account? Below the heights are. You would think like second base would be that midpoint where it'd be at the highest point, like almost you know, like a tent effect, but that's because it's a not. dome, right? But yep, above home plate's 121 feet, and then uh, when it comes down around center, it's just 59 feet, 60 feet. So yeah, when we think about it, 100 feet is super high to catch a baseball that high. You know, you'd be un- under it for a while. So. That was an impressive feat there by Nasser. And you could tell when he yeah. caught the ball, it hurt his hands because, to your point, you oh, know, yeah. that a, a, as it starts coming down, it's going to gain that speed, gain that uh, momentum, gain that velocity, and uh, it's going to be quite a tough catch. Definitely in a cricket for a fielder without gloves, that would be a nigh impossible catch, let's just say that. I want to give it a try, baby, but – I just think it's hilarious that he had the two different cat, the two different gloves. He was trying to find gloves somewhere. He's like, I never used gloves in my career. Still can't believe he could have caught the guy at two runs scored. The guy went off to get 252. That would be killer. But uh, let us know what you think about this video, this reaction. We did something a little different this week. Let us know what you think about it. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Check out some of our other videos, especially recently we tried our hand at umpiring. Go ahead and check out that video. And until next time. That six runs.